The city of Veldor was slowly returning to normal after the climactic battle against Caliph and his dark forces. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik were finally finding time to rest and reflect on their recent trials. However, peace was fleeting for the defenders of Alaria. One morning, as they gathered in the castle courtyard to discuss the next steps in rebuilding, a messenger arrived with a scroll bearing the seal of the Elemental Council. The messenger, a young woman with an air of urgency, handed the scroll to Eamon. Eamon broke the seal and read aloud, To the defenders of Veldor, the Elemental Council summons you. A disturbance in the Elemental Forces threatens the balance of nature. We believe the corruption of Caleth's dark magic has spread further than anticipated. Your presence is required immediately. Gareth frowned. The Elemental Council doesn't summon anyone lightly. This must be serious. Lyra, her brow furrowed, added, If the Elemental Forces are disturbed, it could spell disaster for all of Ilaria. We need to find out what's happening. Arik nodded. We should leave at once. The journey to the Council's meeting place is long, and time is of the essence. The group quickly prepared for the journey, gathering their supplies and informing the city's leaders of their departure. The road to the Elemental Council was fraught with peril, but they were determined to uncover the source of the disturbance. As they travelled through dense forests and across wide plains, they encountered signs of the elemental imbalance. Rivers had dried up, leaving cracked riverbeds behind. Once fertile lands were barren, and the air was thick with an unnatural chill. Villagers they met along the way spoke of strange weather patterns and unexplained natural disasters. After several days of travel, they reached the edge of the enchanted forest, where the Elemental Council's meeting place was hidden. The forest was alive with magic, its trees whispering secrets and its air humming with energy. As they entered the forest, they were greeted by Terra, the Earth Guardian. Her presence was calming, her eyes wise and ancient. Welcome, defenders of Veldor. The Council awaits you. Terra led them to a clearing where the other guardians stood. Zephyr, the Air Guardian, floated gracefully above the ground, her form shimmering like a mirage. Ignis, the Fire Guardian, radiated warmth and power, his eyes burning with intensity. Aqua, the Water Guardian, moved with fluid grace, her hair flowing like a river. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra and Arik bowed respectfully. Eamon spoke first, we received your summons. What has happened to the elemental forces? Zephyr's voice was like a soft breeze, yet filled with urgency. A great imbalance has been detected. Caleth's dark magic has corrupted the natural balance of the elements. The disturbance is spreading, and if it is not stopped, it will lead to catastrophic consequences. Ignis stepped forward, his eyes blazing. To restore balance, you must undergo the trial of elements. This trial will test your strength, wisdom, and unity. Only by proving yourselves can you help us restore the natural order. Aqua added, her voice flowing like a stream. Each of you will face challenges that align with the elements. These trials will not be easy, but they are necessary to save Alaria. Lyra, holding the amulet of Alaria, felt its power resonate with the elemental energy around them. We are ready to face the trials. We'll do whatever it takes to restore balance. Terra nodded. Very well. Your first trial will be the Earth Challenge. Follow me. The group followed Terra deeper into the forest, their, their hearts filled with determination. They knew the path ahead would be difficult, but they were ready to face whatever challenges came their way. The fate of Ilaria depended on their success, and they would not rest until the balance of nature was restored. As they ventured further, far into the forest, the whispers of the trees grew louder, and the air thickened with anticipation. The trial of elements had begun, and Eamon, Gareth, Lyra and Arik were ready to prove their worth and protect their world once more. Terra led Eamon, Gareth, Lyra and Arik through the enchanted forest, the air thick with magic and anticipation. The path wound through ancient trees whose branches seemed to reach out and touch them, whispering secrets of the forest. Finally, they arrived at a grand clearing where the Elemental Council awaited. The clearing was a breathtaking sight. At its center stood a massive, ancient tree with a trunk wider than a house. Its branches stretched high into the sky and its leaves shimmered with an ethereal light. Around the tree, four large stones, each representing one of the elements, glowed faintly. The elemental guardians stood by these stones, 
their presence commanding and powerful. Zephyr, the air guardian, floated above her stone, her form ethereal and light. She had flowing silver hair that moved with the breeze, and her eyes were a piercing blue. Welcome, defenders of Veldor. We have awaited your arrival. Ignis, the fire guardian, stood tall and imposing, his fiery eyes burning with intensity. His hair was a mass of flames, and his skin had a molten glow. The balance of the elements has been disturbed, and the corruption of Caliph's dark magic spreads through Alaria. Aqua, the water guardian, moved with fluid grace, her long blue hair flowing like a river. Her eyes were deep and tranquil, yet filled with concern. To restore balance, you must undergo the trial of elements. Each trial will test your abilities and your unity. Tara, the earth guardian, stepped forward, her presence solid and grounding. Her hair was a rich, earthy brown, and her eyes were as green as the forest. The trials will not be easy, but they are necessary. Only by passing them can you gain the power to restore the balance. Eamon, ever the leader, spoke first. We are ready to face these trials. Tell us what we must do. Zephyr's voice was like a soft breeze, carrying a sense of urgency. Your first trial is the Earth Challenge, overseen by Terra. You must navigate the labyrinth of the Earth and face its challenges. Only then can you earn Terra's blessing. Terra gestured for them to follow her. Come, I will guide you to the entrance of the labyrinth. Remember, the key to overcoming the Earth Challenge lies in your ability to stay grounded and work together. As they walked towards the entrance, Lyra felt the amulet of Alaria resonate with the elemental energy around them. The amulet is reacting to the elemental magic. It will guide us through the trials. Arik, always pragmatic, added, We need to stay focused and rely on each other's strengths. These trials are designed to test our limits. They arrived at the entrance of the labyrinth, a massive stone structure covered in ancient runes that glowed faintly in the dim light. The entrance loomed before them, dark and foreboding. Terra's voice was steady and reassuring. The labyrinth will challenge you with shifting walls, hidden traps, and powerful earth magic. Trust in each other, and you will find the way. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik exchanged determined glances. They knew the path ahead would be difficult, but they were ready to face whatever challenges lay within the labyrinth. The fate of Alaria depended on their success. With a final nod from Eamon, they stepped into the labyrinth. The air inside was cool and damp, and the walls seemed to pulse with a life of their own. The path ahead was unclear, and they knew that their journey through the labyrinth would test their skills, their wits, and their unity. As they ventured deeper into the labyrinth, the walls shifted and changed, creating new paths and dead ends. Stone golems emerged from the walls, their eyes glowing with an eerie light. The Gro, up fought bravely, using their combined strengths to overcome the golems, and navigate the ever-changing maze. Lyra used the amulet of Alaria to sense the right paths, guiding them through the labyrinth's twists and turns. Gareth's strategic mind helped them avoid traps and ambushes, while Eamon's bravery and Arik's knowledge of dark magic proved invaluable in combat. Hours passed, and the challenges grew more intense. The labyrinth seemed determined to break their resolve, but they pressed on, their unity and determination unshaken. Finally, they reached the heart of the labyrinth, where Terra awaited. Terra smiled, her eyes filled with pride. You have proven yourselves worthy. You have faced the Earth Challenge and emerged victorious. You have earned my blessing. As Terra's blessing flowed over them, they felt a surge of strength and confidence. The path ahead was still fraught with danger, but they knew they had the power to overcome it. With renewed determination, they left the labyrinth and returned to the clearing. The other elemental guardians awaited them, their expressions filled with expectation. Zephyr floated forward. You have passed the first trial. Now you must face the air challenge. Eamon nodded, his resolve firm. We are ready. Lead the way. The trial of elements had only just begun, but Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik were prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. They would restore the balance of nature and protect Alaria from the corruption of dark magic, no matter the cost. Having received Terra's blessing and passed the first trial, Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik stood ready for the next challenge. The elemental guardians gathered around them, their presence a mixture of awe and anticipation. Zephyr, the air guardian, spoke softly, 
her voice like a gentle breeze. Your next trial is the air challenge. Follow me to the edge of the chasm. The group followed Zephyr through the enchanted forest, the path winding and mysterious. As they walked, the air grew lighter, and they felt a subtle but persistent wind guiding them. Finally, they reached a vast chasm, its depths obscured by swirling mists and strong gusts of wind. Zephyr floated above the chasm, her form shimmering. The air challenge will test your agility and your ability to adapt. You must cross this chasm by manipulating the air currents and avoiding deadly wind traps. Trust in your instincts and in each other. Eamon looked at the chasm, its width daunting and its depth seemingly endless. We'll need to be careful. This isn't just about physical strength, it's about using our abilities wisely. Lyra, holding the amulet of Alaria, felt its power resonate with the elemental forces around them. The amulet can help us sense the wind currents and guide us safely across. Gareth, ever the strategist, surveyed the chasm. We need to plan our route carefully and move together. If we get separated, it could be disastrous. Arik, his eyes sharp and focused, nodded. We'll need to use both magic and skill to navigate this challenge. Let's stay alert. With a deep breath, the group stepped to the edge of the chasm. Lyra held the amulet aloft, feeling its energy intertwine with the wind. A faint, glowing path appeared, showing them the way across. They began their journey, carefully stepping onto invisible platforms formed by the swirling air currents. The wind howled around them, trying to knock them off balance. Lyra used the amulet to stabilize the currents, while Gareth and Eamon kept an eye out for any traps or sudden shifts in the wind. As they moved forward, storm elementals materialized from the mists, attacking with blasts of wind and lightning. Eamon and Gareth fought valiantly, their swords flashing as they deflected the elementals' attacks. Lyra cast protective spells, while Arik countered the elementals' magic with his own. Despite the challenges, the group pressed on, their un eti and determination guiding them. They reached a particularly difficult section where the wind was strongest and the platforms were unstable. Eamon led the way, his movements precise and confident, followed closely by Gareth and Arik. Lyra, bringing up the rear, felt a sudden surge of energy from the amulet. The path ahead shimmered and became clearer, revealing the final stretch across the chasm. We're almost there, just a bit further. The group pushed forward, their resolve unshaken. With a final, coordinated effort, they crossed the last of the air platforms and reached the other side of the chasm. Zephyr awaited them, her expression one of pride and approval. You have passed the air challenge, Zephyr said, her voice filled with warmth. You have shown agility, adaptability, and unity. You have earned my blessing. As Zephyr's blessing flowed over them, they felt a lightness and clarity of mind, the air around them filling with a sense of renewal and strength. The journey had been arduous, but their success reaffirmed their commitment to restoring the balance of nature. With renewed determination, the group returned to the Elemental Council's clearing. Terra, Ignis, and Aqua awaited them, their expressions reflecting the gravity of the trials ahead. Ignis, the Fire Guardian, stepped forward, his fiery eyes burning with intensity. Your next trial is the Fire Challenge. This will test your endurance and your ability to withstand extreme conditions. Follow me to the Volcanic Lands. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra and Arik exchanged determined glances. The first two trials had tested their strength and agility, and now they would face the fiery challenge of endurance. As they followed Ignis towards the volcanic lands, they knew the path ahead would be difficult. But their hearts were filled with resolve, and their unity was stronger than ever. They would continue to face each challenge, earn each guardian's blessing, and restore balance to the elemental forces of Alaria. The trial of elements was far from over, but Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik were ready for whatever lay ahead. Together, they would protect their world from the corruption of dark magic and ensure a future of peace and harmony for all. The air grew hotter and the ground more treacherous as Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik followed Ignis, the Fire Guardian, toward the volcanic lands. The landscape transformed into a harsh, fiery expanse with rivers of molten lava flowing through cracked earth. The heat was intense, and the air shimmered with waves of rising temperature. Ignis led them to the edge of a volcanic field where the ground rumbled beneath their feet. 
This is the fire challenge, he announced, his voice as powerful as the flames around them. You must traverse this landscape, quell the erupting volcano, and calm the raging fire elementals. Only then will you earn my blessing. Eamon, his face set with determination, surveyed the landscape. We need to stay focused and work together. This challenge will test our endurance and our ability to withstand extreme conditions. Gareth, his hand on the hilt of his sword, nodded. We'll need to be quick and strategic. The heat alone is enough to wear us down. Lyra, holding the amulet of Alaria, felt its power resonate with the fire elementals. The amulet can help us navigate the fiery landscape and protect us from the worst of the heat. Arik, his eyes scanning the horizon, added, We must find the source of the volcanic activity and quell it. That will be the key to calming the fire elementals. With a deep breath, the group stepped onto the volcanic field. The ground was uneven and unstable, with streams of lava crossing their path. The air was filled with the roar of the volcano and the crackle of flames. They moved carefully, each step deliberate and cautious. As they advanced, fire elementals rose from the lava, their bodies composed of living flame. They a to tact with blasts of fire and heat, their presence making the already harsh environment even more dangerous. Eamon and Gareth fought bravely, their swords flashing as they deflected the elementals' attacks. The heat was intense, but their resolve was unyielding. Lyra used the amulet of Alaria to cast protective spells, shielding them from the worst of the flames, while Arik countered the elementals' magic with his own. Despite the challenges, they pressed on, their unity and determination guiding them. They reached the base of the volcano, where the ground was most unstable, and the air was thick with ash and smoke. We need to find a way to calm the volcano, Eamon said, his voice strained from the heat. Lyra, can the amulet help us? Lyra nodded, her face flushed but resolute. The amulet can channel the elemental energy and help us stabilize the volcano. We need to find the heart of the volcanic activity. They carefully navigated the treacherous landscape, avoiding streams of lava and falling rocks. The heat grew more intense, and the roar of the volcano was deafening. Finally, they reached the heart of the volcano, a massive, glowing fissure in the ground. Lyra stepped forward, holding the amulet high. She began to chant, her voice rising above the chaos. The amulet's light intensified, casting a protective glow over the group. The ground rumbled and shook, but Lyra's concentration never wavered. Eamon, Gareth, and Arik stood guard, protecting Lyra from the fire elementals that continued to attack. Their movements were precise and coordinated, their resolve unwavering. Slowly, the amulet's light began to merge with the volcanic energy, stabilizing the ground and calming the erupting lava. The fire elementals, sensing the change, began to retreat, their flames flickering and dying out. With a final surge of energy, Lyra completed the spell. The ground stopped shaking, and the roar of the volcano subsided. The air grew cooler, and the fire elementals disappeared, leaving the volcanic field quiet and still. Ignis approached, his eyes burning with approval. You have passed the fire challenge, he announced. You have shown endurance, strength, and unity. You have earned my blessing. As Ignis's blessing flowed over them, they felt a surge of power and resilience. The journey had been arduous, but their success reaffirmed their commitment to restoring the balance of nature. With renewed determination, the group returned to the Elemental Council's clearing. Terra, Zephyr, and Aqua awaited them, their expressions filled with pride and expectation. Aqua, the Water Guardian, stepped forward, her eyes calm and serene. Your next trial is the Water Challenge. This will test your adaptability and your ability to navigate through fluid and ever-changing environments. Follow me to the Enchanted Lake. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra and Arik exchanged determined glances. The first three trials had tested their strength, agility and endurance, and now they would face the challenge of adaptability. As they followed Aqua towards the Enchanted Lake, they knew the path ahead would be difficult. But their hearts were filled with resolve, and their unity was stronger than ever. They would continue to face each challenge, earn each guardian's blessing, and restore balance to the elemental forces of Alaria. The trial of elements was far from over, but Eamon, Gareth, Lyra and Arik were ready for whatever lay ahead. Together, they would protect their world from the corruption of dark magic and ensure a future of peace and harmony for all.
After receiving Ignis's blessing, Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik felt invigorated despite the trials they had faced. Aqua, the water guardian, led them through the enchanted forest toward a serene, sparkling lake. The air was cool and refreshing, a stark contrast to the fiery landscape they had just left. As they reached the shore, Aqua turned to them, her eyes, alm and wise. This is the water challenge. You must dive into the depths of this enchanted lake, navigate through powerful currents, and solve intricate puzzles that test your adaptability and resilience. Only then will you earn my blessing. Eamon nodded, determination in his eyes. We faced many challenges, and we're ready for this one too. Gareth, always strategic, surveyed the lake. We need to stay together and watch out for each other. The underwater environment will be difficult to navigate. Lyra held the amulet of Alaria, feeling its power resonate with the water around them. The amulet will guide us. We'll need to trust in its power and in each other. Arik, his expression focused, added, We should be prepared for anything. The water can be just as dangerous as fire or earth. With Aqua's guidance, they prepared for the dive. Taking a deep breath, they plunged into the cool, wet, clear waters of the enchanted lake. The world beneath the surface was a mesmerizing realm of vibrant aquatic life and shimmering light. As they descended, they encountered strong currents that pulled them in different directions. Lyra used the amulet to sense the flow of the water, guiding the group through the maze of currents. They swam with the determination, their movements synchronized and fluid. The deeper they went, the more challenging the environment became. They encountered powerful whirlpools and sudden shifts in the water's flow. Gareth and Eamon used their strength to navigate these obstacles, while Lyra and Arik relied on their magical abilities to stabilize the currents. Their first major challenge was a series of intricate puzzles formed by underwater ruins. The puzzles required them to manipulate water flow and align ancient symbols. Lyra, with the amulet's guidance, deciphered the symbols, while Arik used his knowledge of elemental magic to adjust the water flow. After solving the puzzles, they continued their descent. The light from the surface grew dimmer, and the water pressure increased. They encountered dangerous sea creatures that guarded the depths, including massive eels and schools of aggressive fish. Eamon and Gareth, defended the group, their swords flashing in the underwater gloom. Lyra cast protective spells, and Arik used his dark magic to counter the creature's attacks. Despite the challenges, they pressed on, their unity and resolve guiding them. Finally, they reached the heart of the lake, a massive underwater cavern filled with glowing crystals and ancient relics. At the center of the cavern was a massive, enchanted barrier blocking their path. Lyra held the amulet high, channeling its power. The amulet's light merged with the glow of the crystals, revealing a hidden mechanism within the barrier. We need to deactivate the barrier to proceed, she said, her voice echoing through the water. Working together, they manipulated the crystals and activated the mechanism. The barrier slowly dissolved, revealing a hidden chamber filled with swirling water and powerful elemental energy. Aqua appeared before them, her presence serene and powerful. You have passed the water challenge, she announced. You have shown adaptability, resilience, and unity. You have earned my blessing. As Aqua's blessing flowed over them, they felt a sense of tranquility and clarity. The journey had been arduous, but their success reaffirmed their commitment to restoring the balance of nature. With renewed determination, the group returned to the surface and swam back to the shore. Terra, Zephyr, and Ignis awaited them, their expressions filled with pride and approval. Terra spoke first. You have proven yourselves worthy by passing the earth, air, fire, and water challenges. The balance of the elements is beginning to restore, but the corruption remains a threat. Zephyr added, The elemental forces are stabilizing, but Caliph's dark magic still lingers. You must remain vigilant, and Scuthza, continue to protect Ilaria. Ignis's fiery eyes blazed. The trials have strengthened you, but the battle is far from over. Use the blessings you have earned to defend our world. Aqua's voice was calm but firm. A new threat has emerged. A faction of Caliph's followers has discovered an ancient artifact that can control the elements. They plan to use it to wreak havoc across Alaria. You must stop them. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik exchanged determined glances. 
the trials had tested their strength, agility, endurance, and adaptability. Now they would face a new challenge, armed with the blessings of the elemental guardians. Eamon nodded, his resolve firm. We'll track down this faction and stop them. We won't let Caliph's corruption spread any further. Gareth added, we'll use what we've learned and the blessings we've earned to protect Alaria. Lyra, holding the amulet, felt its power resonate with her own. We're ready for whatever comes next. Together, we can face any challenge. Arik, his eyes filled with determination, said, let's go. Our mission isn't over yet. With the blessings of the elemental guardians and the strength of their unity, Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik set out to confront the new threat. They knew the path ahead would be difficult, but their hearts were filled with resolve. Together, they would protect their world from the forces of darkness and ensure a future of peace and harmony for all. After completing the water challenge and receiving Aqua's blessing, Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik returned to the Elemental Council's clearing. The Guardians awaited them, their presence commanding and serene. The air was filled with a sense of anticipation as the Guardians prepared to combine their powers and restore balance to the elemental forces. Terra, the Earth Guardian, stepped forward, her eyes wise and ancient. You have passed all the elemental challenges and earned our blessings. Now, we must restore balance to the elemental forces. Zephyr, the Air Guardian, floated gracefully above the ground, her form shimmering like a mirage. The balance has been disrupted by Kaelith's dark magic, we must use our combined powers to cleanse the corruption and stabilize the elements. Ignis, the fire guardian, radiated warmth and power, his eyes burning with intensity. This will require great strength and focus. Stand together and channel your energy into the heart of the elements. Aqua, the water guardian, moved with fluid grace, her hair flowing like a river. The heart of the elements lies within the ancient tree at the center of this clearing. It is the source of our power and the key to restoring balance. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik gathered around the ancient tree, feeling its immense power resonating with their own. The guardians formed a circle around them, their combined energy creating a powerful aura that enveloped the clearing. Lyra held the amulet of Alaria, its light merging with the elemental energy around them. We're ready. Let's restore balance to the elements. The guardians began to chant, their voices harmonizing with the natural sounds of the forest. The ground beneath their feet pulsed with energy, and the air was filled with a vibrant hum. The ancient tree glowed with an ethereal light, its branches reaching out as if to embrace the elemental forces. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik closed their eyes and focused, channeling their energy into the heart of the elements. The amulet's light intensified, merging with the energy of the tree and the guardians. As the ritual progressed, the corruption caused by Caelith's dark magic began to dissipate. The air grew clearer, the ground steadier, and the temperature more balanced. The elemental forces, once in turmoil, began to stabilize. The guardians' chanting grew louder, their power reaching its peak. The ancient tree pulsed with radiant light, and a wave of energy surged through the clear, ring, spreading out across Ilaria. The balance of the elements was being restored. Just as the ritual neared completion, a sudden, dark presence disrupted the harmony. A group of Caliph's followers appeared at the edge of the clearing, their faces twisted with malice and determination. Stop them! One of the followers shouted, their voice filled with desperation. We cannot allow them to restore balance. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik broke their focus, ready to defend the ritual. The guardians, maintaining the energy flow, nodded to the group, indicating they should handle the threat. Eamon drew his sword, its blade glowing with elemental energy. We must protect the ritual. They cannot disrupt it now. Gareth, his shield raised, added, We'll hold them off. Lyra, Arik, stay with the guardians and ensure the ritual completes. The battle was fierce, but Eamon and Gareth fought with the strength and unity they had gained from the trials. The elemental energy flowing through them made them more powerful and resilient. Lyra and Arik stood by the guardians, channeling their magic to protect the ritual. The amulet's light created a barrier that shielded the guardians from the attacks of Caliph's followers. Despite the intensity of the battle, the ritual continued. The ancient tree's light grew brighter, and the elemental energy reached a crescendo. 
the balance of the elements was almost restored. With a final, coordinated effort, Eamon and Gareth defeated the last of Caliph's followers, their bodies dissolving into shadows that were absorbed by the ground. The clearing fell silent, and the Guardian's chanting reached its peak. A brilliant flash of light erupted from the ancient tree, spreading across the clearing and beyond. The energy wave washed over Alaria, cleansing the corruption and restoring balance to the elemental forces. The Guardians lowered their hands, you had their expressions filled with relief and satisfaction. Terra, her voice filled with gratitude, spoke first. The balance has been restored, thanks to your courage and unity. Zephyr added, the elemental forces are stabilized, but we must remain vigilant. The corruption has left its mark, and we must be ready to defend our world. Ignis's eyes blazed with determination. You have proven yourselves worthy defenders of Ilaria. Use the blessings you have earned to protect our world from future threats. Aqua's voice was calm and serene. A new threat has emerged. Caliph's followers have discovered an ancient artifact that can control the elements. You must stop them before they unleash its power. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra and Arik exchanged determined glances. They had restored balance to the elemental forces, but their mission was far from over. They would track down this new threat and ensure that Alaria remained safe. Eamon nodded, his resolve firm. We'll stop them. We won't let the elemental balance be disrupted again. Gareth added, we'll use the blessings we've earned to protect Alaria. Lyra, holding the amulet, felt its power resonate with her own. We're ready for whatever comes next. Together, we can face any challenge. Arik, his eyes filled with determination, said, Let's go. Our mission isn't over yet. With the blessings of the elemental guardians and the strength of their unity, Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik set out to confront the new threat. They knew the path ahead would be difficult, but their hearts were filled with resolve. Together, they would protect their world from the forces of darkness and ensure a future of peace and harmony for all. With the blessings of the elemental guardians and the balance of nature restored, Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik felt a renewed sense of purpose. However, the warning from Aqua about the ancient artifact that could control the elements weighed heavily on their minds. They knew that Caliph's followers would stop at nothing to use the artifact to ray Ak Havok across Ilaria. After gathering their supplies and bidding farewell to the Elemental Council, the group set out to track down the faction of Caliph's followers. Their first destination was an ancient library in the city of Eldorath, where they hoped to find clues about the artifact and its location. The journey to Eldorath was uneventful, but the city itself buzzed with tension. Rumors of strange occurrences and dark magic had spread, creating an air of unease. The group made their way to the library, a grand structure filled with ancient tomes and guarded by wise scholars. Inside, they were greeted by Master Arwen, the head librarian, who recognized them immediately. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, Arik, welcome. We've heard of your deeds and the restoration of the elemental balance. How can we assist you? Eamon explained their mission, detailing the warning from Aqua and their need to find information about the ancient artifact. We need to find this artifact before Caliph's followers can use it to disrupt the balance again. Master Arwen nodded gravely. I've heard whispers of such an artifact. It is said to be hidden in the ancient ruins of Vanderil, a place shrouded in mystery and danger. The records we have are sparse, but you are welcome to search our archives. The group spent hours poring over ancient texts and scrolls, piecing together fragments of information about Vanderil and the artifact. Lyra's magic and Arik's knowledge of dark forces proved invaluable in deciphering the cryptic writings. As they worked, Lyra found a reference to a powerful elemental artifact known as the Orb of Dominion. The text described it as a relic capable of controlling and amplifying elemental powers, making it a potent weapon in the wrong hands. This must be what Caliph's followers are after, Lyra said, her voice filled with urgency. We need to get to Vanderil and secure the Orb of Dominion before they do. Eamon agreed. We should leave immediately. The longer we wait, the more dangerous the situation becomes. Gareth, always the strategist, added, We'll need to be prepared for anything. If Caliph's followers are already there, we could be walking into a trap. Arik, his expression determined, said, We'll be ready. Let's move. 
With Master Arwen's blessings and a map of the ancient ruins, the group set out for Vanderil. The journey was treacherous, taking them through dense forests, over rugged mountains, and across wide rivers. They encountered various obstacles, from natural hazards to ambushes by dark creatures. As they approached Vanderil, the landscape grew more ominous. The air was thick with a sense of foreboding, and the ruins themselves loomed ahead, shrouded in mist and shadow. The remnants of an ancient civilization, the ruins were a labyrinth of crumbling structures and hidden dangers. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik moved cautiously through the ruins, their senses heightened. The silence was eerie, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves or distant animal call. They knew that Caliph's followers could be lurking around any corner. As they ventured deeper into the ruins, they found signs of recent activity. Footprints in the dust, extinguished campfires, and markings that indicated a path. The atmosphere grew tenser, and they prepared for a confrontation. Finally, they reached the heart of Vanderil, a grand chamber filled with ancient carvings and a massive stone pedestal at its center. On the pedestal rested the Orb of Dominion, glowing with an otherworldly light. Their relief at finding the orb was short-lived. A group of Caliph's followers emerged from the shadows, led by a powerful dark mage. His eyes glowed with malice, and his voice was filled with venom. You're too late. The orb belongs to us. Eamon stepped forward, his sword ready. We won't let you use it to disrupt the balance. Stand down. The dark mage sneered. You think you can stop us? We'll see about that. A fierce battle erupted, the chamber filled with the clash of swords and the crackle of magic. Eamon and Gareth fought valiantly, their movements precise and coordinated. Lyra used the amulet of Alaria to cast protective spells and counter the dark magic, while Arik unleashed his own powerful spells to disrupt the enemy's attacks. The Dark Mage focused his efforts on securing the Orb of Dominion, channeling its power to enhance his spells. The energy from the orb intensified, creating a vortex of elemental chaos in the chamber. We need to separate him from the orb, Gareth shouted, deflecting a blast of dark energy with his shield. Lyra, sensing the orb's connection to the elemental forces, called out, Eamon, Arik, create a distraction. I'll try to sever the link between him and the orb. Eamon and Arik launched a coordinated attack, forcing the dark mage to defend himself. The mage's focus wavered, and Lyra seized the opportunity. She channeled the amulet's power, sending a surge of energy toward the orb. The connection between the dark mage and the orb was broken, and the elemental chaos subsided. The mage screamed in fury, his power diminished. Eamon and Gareth pressed their advantage, disarming him and securing the orb. With the dark mage defeated, the remaining followers fled into the shadows. The chamber fell silent, the tension slowly dissipating. Lyra carefully picked up the Orb of Dominion, feeling its immense power. We need to secure this and ensure it's never used for evil again. Eamon nodded, his expression resolute. We'll take it back to the Elemental Council. They'll know how to protect it. Gareth, his face serious but relieved, added, We've stopped them for now, but we must remain vigilant. Caleth's followers won't give up easily. Arik, his eyes filled with determination, said, Let's get back to Veldor. Our mission isn't over yet. With the Orb of Dominion safely in their possession, the group began their journey back to Veldor. They knew that the path ahead would be difficult, but their hearts were filled with resolve. Together, they would protect their world from the forces of darkness and ensure a future of peace and harmony for all. With the Orb of Dominion secured, Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik set out on the journey back to Veldor. They knew that their mission was far from over, Caleth's followers were still a threat, and they needed to ensure the orb was kept safe. The group moved quickly and cautiously, aware that they were likely being pursued. As they approached the outskirts of Veldor, the atmosphere grew tense. Scouts reported sightings of enemy forces gathering nearby, suggesting that a final confrontation was imminent. The Dark Mage they had defeated in Vanderil had rallied the remnants of Caleth's followers for one last desperate attempt to seize the orb. Eamon and Gareth coordinated with Veldor's defenders to prepare for the impending attack. The city's walls were fortified, and strategic defensive positions were established. The allies who had aided them before were summoned once more, ready to stand against the darkness. As night fell, 
The defenders took their positions, their hearts heavy with anticipation. The air was thick with tension, and the distant sounds of drums and war cries signalled the approach of the enemy. The battle for the fate of Alaria was about to begin. Eamon stood on the battlements, his sword gleaming in the moonlight. This is it. We must protect the Orb of Dominion at all costs. Remember, we fight not just for Veldor, but for all of Alaria. Gareth, his shield at the ready, added, Stay strong. Stay focused. We've faced worse before, and we'll overcome this as well. Lyra, holding the amulet of Alaria, felt its power resonating with the orb. The amulet will guide us. Together, we can do this. Arik, his eyes determined, said, Let's show them the strength of our unity. The dark forces launched their assault, swarming towards Veldor's walls with a ferocity born of desperation. The defenders met them with unwavering resolve, their swords clashing with the enemy's dark magic and brute force. The night was filled with the sounds of battle, the air crackling with energy. Eamon and Gareth led the charge on the front lines, their movements precise and deadly. Lyra and Arik provided magical support, casting protective spells and countering the enemy's dark magic. The Orb of Dominion, secured in a fortified chamber, pulsed with a steady light, its power a beacon of hope for the defenders. As the battle raged on, the Dark Mage from Vanderil appeared, his eyes glowing with malice. "'You cannot stop us!' he shouted, his voice echoing through the chaos. "'The orb's power will be ours!' Eamon stepped forward, his sword raised. "'We will stop you. Your darkness has no place in Ilaria. The Dark Mage unleashed a torrent of dark energy, but Lyra countered with a powerful spell, the amulet's light shining bright. The clash of magic sent shockwaves through the battlefield, the ground trembling under their feet. Gareth and Arik flanked the Dark Mage, their attacks coordinated and relentless. Despite his power, the mage was forced to defend himself, unable to break through their combined assault. The defenders pressed their advantage, their unity and determination driving them forward. Finally, with a coordinated effort, Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik managed to disarm the Dark Mage and disrupt his connection to the orb. The mage screamed in fury and pain as the Orb of Dominion's power was severed from his control. The remaining Dark Forces, seeing their leader defeated, began to retreat, their morale shattered. The battle was won, but the cost had been high. The defenders of Veldor stood amidst the ruins, their breaths heavy with exhaustion but their spirits unbroken. They had protected the Orb of Dominion and thwarted Caelith's followers once more. Eamon, his sword still glowing with residual energy, looked around at his companions. We did it. We protected the orb and defended Veldor. Gareth nodded, his expression a mix of relief and determination. We need to ensure the orb is kept safe. We can't allow it to fall into the wrong hands again. Lyra, holding the amulet, felt a sense of fulfillment. The Elemental Council must be informed. They can help us secure the orb and protect the elemental balance. Arik, his eyes filled with resolve, added, Our mission isn't over. We need to remain vigilant and prepared for any future threats. With the dawn breaking over the horizon, casting a warm glow over the battlefield, the defenders began to regroup and tend to the wounded. The Orb of Dominion, now secure, would be taken to the Elemental Council for safekeeping. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra and Arik stood together, their hearts filled with hope and determination. They had faced incredible odds and emerged victorious, but they knew their journey was far from over. The balance of nature and the safety of Alaria depended on their continued vigilance. As they prepared to leave for the Elemental Council, they felt a deep sense of purpose. Together, they had protected their world from the forces of darkness and ensured a future of peace and harmony for all. Their unity, strength, and unwavering determination would guide them through whatever challenges lay ahead. The battle was over, but the aftermath left Veldor in a state of recovery. The city's defenders worked tirelessly to rebuild and strengthen their defences, knowing that the dark forces might try again. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik, along with their allies, prepared to take the Orb of Dominion to the Elemental Council for safekeeping. The journey to the Elemental Council was a sombre one. They were acutely aware of the responsibility they carried. The Orb of Dominion, now secure in Lyra's hands, pulsed with a steady lig. T, a reminder of the power they had protected and the threat they had faced. 
Upon arriving at the sacred meeting place deep within the enchanted forest, the elemental guardians welcomed them back with a mix of relief and respect. Terra, Zephyr, Ignis, and Aqua stood in a circle around the ancient tree, their presence commanding and serene. Terra, the Earth Guardian, stepped forward first. You have done well to protect the Orb of Dominion and restore balance to the elements. Your bravery and unity are commendable. Zephyr, the Air Guardian, floated gracefully above the ground. The elemental forces are stabilizing, but the threat of dark magic remains. We must remain vigilant. Ignis, the Fire Guardian, his eyes burning with intensity, added, The Orb must be kept safe, where it cannot be used for evil again. Aqua, the Water Guardian, moved with fluid grace, her voice calm but firm. We will protect it, and ensure that its power is used only for good. Thank you for your dedication and courage. Lyra stepped forward, holding the Orb of Dominion out to the Guardians. We trust you two to keep it safe. The Orb's power is too great to be left unguarded. The Elemental Guardians accepted the Orb, placing it within the ancient tree. The tree glowed with an ethereal light as the Orb's power was absorbed, creating a protective barrier around it. The Guardians chanted softly, sealing the orb within the heart of the tree. With the orb secure, the group felt a sense of relief, but they knew their work was not done. Eamon turned to the guardians. What else can we do to protect Alaria from future threats? Terra's eyes were wise and thoughtful. Continue to strengthen your alliances and remain vigilant. The forces of darkness will not rest, and neither should you. Zephyr added, the balance of nature is delicate, you must protect it and ensure that the elemental forces remain in harmony. Ignis, his gaze fierce, said, Be ready to face any challenges that come your way. Your strength and unity are your greatest assets. Aqua's voice was gentle yet resolute. Remember, you are the defenders of Alaria. Your courage and determination will guide you through whatever lies ahead. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik nodded, their resolve unwavering. They had faced great challenges and emerged stronger, but they knew that the path of a defender was one of constant vigilance. As they prepared to leave the Elemental Council, they felt a deep sense of purpose and unity. The journey back to Veldor was filled with reflection and quiet determination. They knew that their world was safer because of their efforts, but they also understood that their mission was ongoing. Upon their return to Veldor, the city welcomed them with open arms. The people of Veldor had begun to rebuild, their spirits lifted by the knowledge that their defenders had secured the Orb of Dominion and restored balance to the elements. A grand council was held, where leaders from allied kingdoms gathered to discuss future strategies for maintaining peace and protecting Elaria. The bonds forged in battle grew stronger, creating a network of allies committed to the common good. Eamon addressed the council, his voice filled with determination. We have faced great threats and overcome them, but we must remain vigilant. Our unity and strength will protect Alaria from any future dangers. Gareth added, We need to continue strengthening our defences and supporting each other. Together, we are stronger. Lyra, holding the amulet of Alaria, felt its power resonate with the unity of their allies. The amulet has guided us through darkness and light. We must continue to trust in each other and in the power of our unity. Arik, his eyes filled with resolve, said, The forces of darkness will always be a threat, but we are ready to face them. We will protect our world and ensure a future of peace and harmony. As the council concluded, there was a sense of renewed purpose and unity. The leaders of Alaria stood together, ready to face whatever challenges the future might hold. The journey had been long and arduous, but it had strengthened their resolve and solidified their commitment to protecting their world. Eamon, Gareth, Lyra, and Arik stood on the battlements of Veldor, looking out over the city they had fought so hard to protect. The first light of dawn broke over the horizon, casting a warm glow over the landscape. They felt a deep sense of peace and fulfillment, knowing that they had made a difference. We faced great challenges and overcome them, Eamon said, his voice filled with pride. But our journey is far from over. We must remain vigilant and continue to protect Ilaria. Gareth nodded, his expression resolute. We'll continue to strengthen our alliances and ensure that our defenses are always ready. Lyra, holding the amulet, felt its power resonating with her own. 
Our unity is our greatest strength. Together, we can face any challenge. Arik, looking out over the city, felt a sense of redemption and belonging. I'm proud to stand with you all. We will protect this world from the forces of darkness. As the sun rose higher, casting its light over Veldor, they felt a renewed sense of hope and determination. Their journey had brought them closer together, and their unity had become a beacon of strength for all of Alaria. With the blessings of the elemental guardians and the strength of their allies, they were ready to face the future. No matter what challenges lay ahead, they knew that together they could overcome anything. The future of Veldor and all of Alaria was bright, filled with hope and the promise of a better tomorrow. As long as they stood together, united in purpose and strength, they knew that they could protect their world from the forces of darkness and ensure a future of peace and prosperity for all.